Last week the topic was about self-casting in reality TV shows. I don't like to be one of those humans that makes big blanket statements about particular genres or media just because I always feel like those kinds of things always come off a little bit snooty or if not at least they tend to rub the person, the other person the wrong way. What I mean is that we've all been in a conversation like, hey, did you see the latest episode of that TV show? And the other person answers back, I don't watch TV. I don't really have free time. And it can be about anything, books or music you listen to or anything that you do that they don't do that they don't give priority to. That all said, I'm not going to say I don't like reality TV, but... Reality TV and I generally do not get along. I will not say that I've never watched or participated. If you play an episode from any season of America's Next Top Model from about one to six or seven, I'll be able to tell you what's going on, give you a synopsis of the season. I was into that for a while, mostly because of the marathons that they used to play, and I would sit down and watch one or 27 of those. My sisters and I try and do like a weekly or every other week kind of a dinner date, and for a little while we watched, I think, I guess it was like two seasons ago, the entire Juan Pablo season of The Bachelor. To this day we like at each other like he used to do to the women or say it's okay like he used to do. You know, you should try those things if you want to have fun with your sisters or if you want to make women hate you. Back in the day we used to watch Real World even though we weren't technically allowed to, but Road Rules, Road Rules was actually my favorite of that whole thing. Which is funny because Sweeney was all yay I want to jump from trucks and I'm like no. Which leads me to my first problem with self-casting is that I'm such a chicken. I am the biggest chicken you know, I'm sure of it. There is no part of me that wants to jump from one truck to the other in a harness without a harness with 10 people watching with a million people watching. I don't, no, no, no. I, I couldn't be in anything that's outdoors or where I'm trying to survive anything, anything that requires bravery or courage. Maybe like a game show. I don't know if that really counts as a reality TV show, but like maybe like a game show. Nothing where I have to be too smart <laughs> my family and I have actually talked about going on Family Feud and how we would not be that family that's gonna be like, good answer, good answer, if that was not a good answer. We'd be the family and be like, boo, <laughs> God, mom. <sighs> I wonder if they make him sign like a contract, like he can't do that. But okay, not counting game shows. Um, If I had to pick one, it would have to be like something where I would just really sit down and not do much. Maybe Big Brother, but I think they have challenges and I also don't think that I would make it very far. So pretty much real world would be the thing that I had to do. Even though this is like if I had to big because nothing about being in a group with the same six strangers or whatever number without access to the internet, like none, none, none of that sounds appealing to me, but if I had to pick, probably that one. In the upcoming weeks, we're going to be expanding the Segway Magic experience. We really want this to be more interactive and we really, really want to hear your answers to our prompts. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be coming soon, hopefully. As with all things Snark Lady, our timelines are a little vague, but we are working on it. And number two, I'm late. This is Monday. This is not Friday. So since I answered this today, I'm actually going to pose a new question for Kirsty on Wednesday and then she can decide whether to carry that forward to Sweeney or if she wants to ask her a new question. I don't really know how this is going to work out. I just made this up and I haven't told anybody. Kirsty, I want to know from you what you think about guilty pleasures. Is there anything that people watch, read, or listen to that they should feel ashamed about? I can't wait to hear your take on this question. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you guys soon.